little review for you tonight. Um, if you watch my channel, you'll know I love boots, especially heritage boots. And with that love, you need to also bring in a bit of care for the leather as well. So what we've got to review tonight is some Chamberlain's Leather Milk. Uh, it's a whole leather care pack. Um, absolutely beautifully presented. And we'll get into the box in a minute. Um, this is actually going to be part of possibly a two or three part video. Um, the first bit I'll do is some boot care. Uh, I think that's probably what most of my subscribers want to see. Um, but then we'll get on to using it on the uh, chair here because this is what, eight years old? And it really needs a little bit of love and attention. It's never had any leather care products on it at all. And also reconditioning a bag. But first of all, let's just open up this box. And it really is presented so nicely. Okay, so we'll get into this properly in a minute. We'll get over to the table. But I just thought it was really nicely presented. So you've got three bottles of um, leather care formula. Uh, you've got a clean, cleaning agent, you've got a conditioner, and then you've got a water repellent. Um, you've also got a selection of sponges and soft cloths, a brush, and uh, some healing balm, which is probably what I'll use on the leather bag. Um, but I just thought really nicely presented package. So just before we get this over onto the table and open it up, I thought I'd show you what we're going to use it on. So the first thing we're going to use it on is some boots. Uh, I've got a couple of pairs of boots here. Um, these Frey Cap um, Italian hiking boots um, in need of a bit of a love and attention. They've been a little bit dried out by the recent snowy weather. Um, so they've had a good soaking and there isn't really any dirt on them. Uh, no salt residue, just they've generally been dried out by the recent snow. Um, not that it's particularly noteworthy for anyone who doesn't live in the UK, but we've had two good solid days of snow. Um, in end of February and beginning of March and uh, pretty unheard of so uh, that's a big event. Likewise these uh, Red Wing 8705s they've had a good old drying out in the snow and I think I'll be giving them some waterproofing uh, agent and again you know they're not dirty they don't need to be stripped out of anything I saddle soaked these probably what sort of less than 12 months ago so they're pretty clean they've only had one lot of conditioner on them they just need to be brought back to life. Um, you'll notice these have been resold with Vibram soles, just to give it a little bit long, more longevity than the uh, white crusty wedges. And then the final ones, which will just get a quick working over with conditioner, uh, my wife's uh, Chippewa um, engineer boots here. And they've had a pretty easy life, they're about three months old. Um, but these, when we got them, were probably new old stock. So if they're anything like the Red Wings, the, uh, the tag here says 0314, um, which I suggest would mean that they were made in March 2014. So they've had some time drying out in the box and they just need a bit of a freshen up and uh, get them back to their sort of factory oiled up loveliness. So I think that's going to be the first video. So we'll get over to the table and do that in a second. Um, the second video will be conditioning this chair. Never had any love, just been used and abused. Not looking too bad, looking a little bit faded, little bits sort are of cracked. Um, certainly in this sort of strong light, you can see where it has worn out or sort of gone dry. So I want to bring a little bit of life into this and hopefully it will darken the leather a bit because this is a little bit sort of loud and red and if we got it down to a, a conquer east of dark brown that'd be lovely and the third video or maybe the second video is this rather battered old um, barber bag really reached the end of its life it's got a tear on the back which maybe i'll get fixed but the uh chamberlain's healing balm there sort of claims to bring battered leather back to life and i thought well you don't get much more battered than that scraped scratched and also very, very dried out. Um, on the back, where it's not had that much wear, and it's been polished against my uh, my leg when I've been carrying it, lovely uh, and shiny. And we'll see if we can get the, uh, the front back to life as well. Okay, well let's get this back over to the table, and we'll have so a proper look at the, table at the package. Now. Let's have a proper look at what's in the box. 
So we've got three different uh, varieties of Chamberlain's leather milk. Uh, the first is formula number two, the straight cleaner. Now I don't think I'll be using that today um, on these boots because actually they're not too dirty. They're not loaded up with lots of different products and conditioners. I don't really need to strip them back. So I'll save that for another day, I think. So that one we'll put over here. The second is their formula number one, leather care liniment. Now this I will be using today. Uh, I think this is a general purpose uh, conditioner and we'll be using that just to freshen up these chippers. Uh, new old stock, I think they could do with just a bit of a freshen up. They're only three months old, but that won't do them any harm at all. And then here we've got formula number three, which is a uh, water protectant. Now these two pairs of boots here, um, they have seen a little bit of winter action. They've been a bit dried out, or well, they've been soaked and then dried out uh, after the snow. And uh, I think they could do with a bit of waterproofing because they, these do literally get worn all the time. The fourth product here is the healing balm. Got a nice coconutty smell. Now that will be for another video. I'm going to try and bring back that old bag back to life. Uh, that barber bag scratched and battered uh, back to life with that one. So that's for another day. Also in the pack here, we've got some various cleaning pads, nice toweling coated foam lined or foam cord cleaning pads, a couple of sponges, and some, I think, microfiber cloths, cotton wool buds, and last of all, this little sort of toothbrush. I'll be using that today just to clean out the welts, make sure there's no uh, dust and dirt trapped in the uh, in the bellows of the tongue and uh, cleaning out all the stitching. Okay, well, let's get started on these boots. The conditioners and oil soak into those boots. Obviously, I can't tell you how they're going to perform in the real world. They need to get out there and get in some puddles, really. Um, but I can give you some first impressions on how the products have performed. Um, first of all, and probably my favourite, is the number one formula there, which is just a simple leather care liniment, really a conditioner. It's a, a sort of simple white emulsion in a little squeezy bottle there. And that really is superb. That, that's so nice to have on your skin. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a really nice product. It's also got a very nice uh, subtle scent, um, almonds and a little bit of cherry. So uh, if you are from the UK, you might uh, think Cherry Bakewell, little sort of cake thing. But yeah, really nice product. Soaked in really nicely. They've bought these uh, Chipperware boots back to their unscratched, unbashed 
sort of dark colour. Um, I might try and buff them up a bit. They've gone sort of a little bit matte as uh, freshly conditioned boots tend to go. But um, certainly looks like it's going to make um, or ensure that leather's nice and supple and looking as good as it can do. Um, the other product is um, more of a, a light oil sort of emulsion. Uh, it's not in a squeezy bottle. Um, still very, very kind to the skin. All these products are sort of pH balanced, natural based products. Um, this is sort of an emulsion of oils and waxes. Um, and this has got a very light scent of fir tree. Um, much more subtle than that, but pleasant nonetheless. Um, as you can see, certainly darken the leather on the Red Wings. Um, I've become resigned to that. I used to bother me a little bit. I used to really like the sort of the tan colorations, but um, every time you condition these boots, they go dark again. Uh, you can strip them back a little bit with uh, saddle soap, or maybe their, their straight cleaner might do the same job, but really you're, you're gonna always end up with dark boots as soon as you sort of give them a bit of patina and you treat them really. So they're looking good, taking a little while to soak into those. Um, the oil soaked really quickly into these uh, fray cap uh, hiking boots. Now I'm not sure whether that's down to how dry they were or the nature of the leather, but that's looking really good as well. So, really impressed so far. Superb bundle, um, nicest uh, boot care bundle I've seen so far. Obviously you've got a third product there, which is a straight cleaner, and a fourth product, which is the healing balm which uh, is nice and coconutty. Now I think that the point of that is to rub on particularly deep scratches, but I'm gonna try and bring that bag back to life. Um, obviously in the kit you also get some various buffing pads, microfiber cloths, and this little brush here, um, which I've used to clean the welts out. So yeah, all in all, superb package. Really enjoyed trying it out, and I look forward to really putting these boots to use. Okay, well I hope that's useful to you. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Absolutely love uh, quality footwear, particularly to American heritage brands, um, quality denim, um, Ironheart, Hyatt, that sort of brand. Um, other EDC stuff, pen knives, fountain pens, coffee making kits, cycling guitar. Basically, if anything uh, is one of my passing hobbies or interests, I'd like to share it on the channel. Um, if you haven't uh, checked that out, check it out please, and uh, I hope this, this video is useful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, love it if you subscribed, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.